So within the environmental application, you have all these kind of modules that go within. Environmental health and safety allows for the tracking and management of incidents. You know, due to coronavirus, an archivist would be like a work restriction. You know, so the restriction is you're at home because of this pandemic. And so through this, so we can have kind of a simple input form of so you know someone showing sign. So we would start off with the master kind of ticket of this report an incident. So we could say the incident took place today, the incident type is the coronavirus, and here we can actually define you know, which employee that was that we're going to give it. So here's where we can actually put in, you know, what the incident type was, incident description, you know, so showing signs, and again, leveraging that we already have background data on Bob as an employee but then we can also define, again, where the location took place because we may need to then create tickets off of here. So Bob came in and spread that coronavirus all over said building. I may need to then put in a ticket to say we need to do a deep clean. Plus, if we start by making this entire ticket, we can also then track as well if it was a non-employee. If we had someone come in and they were showing, you know, signs. So we could actually track that incident, its location. So very simple input form in regards to creating the first record of this incident occurring. But all that's going to do is lead us to other items. So now once I get into my track incident, now I have considerable more information. So now from a management side, I can discuss what was happening before the incidents. I can again look at where this happened, if I need to actually go, and because we're integrated in with our drawings through Archibus, have the drawing, I could actually come in and redline, say, you know, Bob only affected that office, and actually submit this into the incident document. So again, we're leveraging our background data on our employees, as well as our actual physical locations. So now we can actually start to get into what also happened from this information. Sent Bob to the emergency room. So here's where we can actually track, you know, who the physician was, where appropriate, where the facility was, and if there's other consequences. So yeah, you can actually track the you know, hospitalization as well as you know, attending information you may need to follow back up to. We're going to have other issues that may happen. <clears throat> One may be a medical monitoring of this. So it's incident related. I've already set up a background of coronavirus. And so now I can say, we are gonna be monitoring him through said date you know, to know for sure if someone has it. So now I can actually go and assign that medical monitoring. So now, I have a tracking number, I have comments, I have statuses as well. So I can then update once his test results come back in. So here's where we can actually do the medical monitoring of suspect, you know, of potential individual or even coronavirus type of item as your actual restriction category. Select that and say from today, so we could either permanently ban Bob from the building, stay home this month. And so here's where we can actually lost days, we could track lost days of work, if he's not working, you know, and again, considerable more medical monitoring, medical monitoring codes. So here you see, so now we're connecting both the medical monitoring and the work description. So again, going back to Archivist being a connected ecosystem of items, so we're really starting to combine both our monitoring and the restrictions we have. Now again, we may simply, you know, Bob came in, he was showing signs, but it turns out he does not have the coronavirus. So what we could do is say we need to do a training program and that training program could be a washing your hands training program you know so we can actually start to assign trainings that people need to do to avoid situations in regards where there may be a coronavirus type event in your office and so we may be assigning for all the people who are actually still coming into our location that they're going to have to go through this hygiene for lack of a better term class you know for minimizing coronavirus exposure and now we can actually assign that training and monitor that it occurred and when it was completed and by who. I wanted to show one more part in regards to the incident response that I had mentioned before. If the customer has the on-demand work, I can just from this interface make a maintenance ticket requested by me. And again, since we've already identified the location of where it's happening, I can make a ticket to do a cleaning of that area. That's gonna tie itself to that incident specifically. So you see it automatically populated all the data we have from our incident. Say we're going to assign housekeeping to do a deep clean of Bob's affected area, and we want that done today.
And so now again, we're combining all of our information, all of our leverage of SLAs and work management system to our incident itself. So that's kind of just a general little overview of the, I mean, you can assign the, any kind of documentation as well regarding any of the incidents. Here you can see that where we made it, where we identified on the map where it, it took place. Uh, but that's just kind of a general overview of the functionality of environmental health and safety. But as you can see, so there's more options on tracking those trainings that we discussed, tracking the work descriptions or work restrictions. I search for Bob and we see he's on a temporary restriction. So where you could have specific metrics on lost day, I mean, you could build a metric based on lost days of work due to coronavirus, you know, I mean, you know, alerts, you could have alerts that get set up to send out emails if that type of incident occurs. And there is actually built-in notifications as well. So you can see here on the, when we're defining an incident type so for this coronavirus, you see where it says like notify yes. So you could set it up to have certain people who are automatically notified if that type of incident occurred, or say it's safety officer. So in the safety officer, you can actually assign an individual person to this work role as safety officer. And you can actually define which locations, so you can see here, I'm the safety officer for HQ. So anytime an incident with that incident type of coronavirus pops up, I would get an automatic email to alert me so I can start to do the items that I need to. And if you just simply kind of built in some background data, kind of populated some data across the world, you know, you could actually look and see you know, where incidents were happening in a full global portfolio. And here's our boss med with our single incident. Look on it, show me the number of incidents, one. But yeah, so really where you can start to leverage to the mapping and see how this virus or any virus, I mean, <clears throat> or any type of incident is really affecting your global portfolio of places as well. So it both serves as a really good tracking for like, <clears throat> this happened, we need to do this, we need to track this, we need to train here. But from a management standpoint, you can really start to see how these items are affecting your entire organization. You can actually, so Archibus has already made pre-formatted OSHA log reports and OSHA summary reports. Like these are the actual documents. So this is an actual like government reporting, you know, to the Department of Labor okay. report. Yeah, so it's already mm -hmm. formatted in to exactly, so it's doing the work for you.